Chimps versus bonobos. Okay, a little bit of heritage. We run a workshop at Stretch, or I run a workshop at Stretch, um, and I'd previously run a workshop at the Explore BDSM Festival, one of them predominantly straight and one of them queer, predominantly gay male. Very different dynamics. Um, the straight one was the males were much more focused on the females, obviously. Um, the females didn't really um, have the um, technology to deal with the amount of males in that group. So the sisterhood is something that's important in there. Um, and the workshop at Stretch, as I say, was predominantly male. Um, totally different vibe. Um, so me being a gay man, queer person, in that straight environment, and then into that predominantly, predominantly gay environment, the feelings I got were very different. So there was tension in the straight world and comfort in the gay world. I recognise I've been brought up as a straight person initially in a straight world, realising that I'm not straight and the discomfort and the closet and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then finding my gay tribe but also having straight heritage that is makes it difficult for me to truly emancipate into the gay tribe long story we came up with the chimps versus bonobos workshop so maven and i and i spoke to this about this in another video um we come up with the idea of having a bonobo colony and a chimp colony and throughout the workshop each person goes into the chimp and the bonobo uh, workshop uh, aspects of the workshop so that being said in Suffolk we tested it um, um, and this uh, we tested it and after having a conversation in Berlin about what I just talked about we tested it, it at um, the um, workshop in, Stre in uh, Suffolk um, and what happened there was we did a few exercises. So we did a typical bonobo space, birthing ritual in one of them. And we did a chimp dynamics in another room. So there's two separate rooms. Ignore the dog. Um, there's two separate rooms. One of them's bonobo, one of them's chimp. The bonobo one became very chilled out, lots of touch, lots of massage. Um, they even shared drinks. They um, really started to build a real nasty, beautiful space. In the chimp one that I was facilitating in, I'd come up with several games. So there was one game where the top bonobo and it went into ranks. So it was one to five, and each one of them bullied downwards. So the top one would bully all of them. The, the second one would get bullied by the top one, but would bully the rest, and so on. So the, the one at the bottom was completely downtrodden. Um, so that happened. And the way that we developed that was we asked each individual to give us a, a bullying trigger, something that, not a difficult hard one but a mild one something that would mildly trigger them and make them feel bullied a little bit um, so each of them came up with a thing and they were very brave to share that with one another and they're also very brave to allow other people to use that against them so that was really interesting how that worked and then that happened and then what we'd do is the one at the bottom would move round and become the dominant one and then everyone would get a turn to do that so that was really good um, and that was essentially what happened in that space it was very playful people respected each other didn't get feisty people liked a bit of a fight I noticed they liked a bit of a fight but knew where the boundaries were 
Um, and then we played another game where we had this rag and the dominant male had it under his seat and then he had to fend off other males that were trying to get it. It wasn't as successful, but it was part another part of the testing. Um, and then um, bonobos would come in out of their space and chimps would go out and become bonobos. So it rotated. So it really got a sort of overview of how this could work in a proper um, festival retreat. Um, people's feedback was when they were getting bullied, it certainly triggered them and it made them feel a little bit insecure. Um, and they would, uh, specifically one person who's very passive, really enjoyed being um, all powerful. He'd not been in that space before. He was able to completely dominate all of the males. And that was something that was new to him. And that surprised me um, that there is some value in um, being a chimp for a little bit in a controlled way. So we've taken that now. And through um, talking more about developing the workshop, we are going to take it to the stretch festival. So there you go. Thank you very much.